guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ashley if you are new welcome and if you are not new thank you for coming back for another video so in today's video I have another eyeshadow palette first impressions so we're gonna be going through this look together this is the brand new skin deep palette from NARS this is the box and here is the actual palette and this is my first um, experience with NARS eyeshadows so I was super excited to get this filmed for you guys so if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this look then definitely stay tuned also if you want to see more content from me definitely hit that subscribe button and hit the like button for this video if you actually like it okay <laughs> all right um, stay tuned for the tutorial in with Sophia on a fluffy brush and putting that in the transition that's very pigmented a nice warm brown so putting the main portion of that in this area close to the crease and then blending it out there's a dark line there I don't know if that was already there or what So now I'm putting that closer into the crease and blending that into the outer V of the lid. And making sure that's blended out and no harsh lines. I'm going to see if I can cover that up. I don't know if that's something the shadow did or what. I laid down my primer and my concealer um, so I don't know if the eyeshadow is sticking there or I just didn't blend my concealer out good right there. Because I have seen shadows do that before. So I don't know if that's what's going on. Next shade, I'm going in with Whipped. And putting that this into the crease. This is a richer... Yeah, you can see how that's a lot warmer. Or a lot deeper of a shade. And it is warmer than that shade we just used. Ooh, that's a pretty shade that's a nice brown it's not too dark but it's not too light to be used as a transition or as a crease shade on women of color so this is really good because I could have left at Sophia I could have used that as like a soft crease color if I didn't want to go real smoky so this is great I have three crease shades in this palette that is really nice as you know guys I'm always saying like one of the drawbacks for a lot of palettes is that they sometimes just have like one shade that you could possibly use for your crease if you're a woman of color if you're a dark skinned person so I'm gonna take some of that shade on the inner corner as well I'm gonna do a little halo but I think I'm gonna use a couple of these shimmers in the halo so we'll see how this goes okay I'm just gonna use my concealer shade to brighten the area up a little bit more It's off center, look at it. It's hilarious. All right, I'm gonna take like a flat concealer brush and go into, all right, I'm gonna go into Calendar Girl. And I'm gonna put this at the top. Going all the way up to the crease with that. I'm going to take my finger and try to get real precise with it. Oh, that's pretty. Then I'm going to go into Unbuttoned on that same brush. This is a dark brown, 
like metallic. I'm taking that right at the base of the lid. Oh, that's real pigmented. See how that goes on there like that? This side. So that's kind of going to be my like liner situation. Center fold. I'm going to take center fold right between these two shades. And try to be precise with that application. That lays down pretty pretty. I mean pretty nicely. I'm going to go back in with unbuttoned to intensify that liner section. Going back into whipped and making sure that did not get covered up. I'm going to do the other eye, then I will be back. All right, and here is the final look. For finishing touches for the look, I added icon on my brow bone to accent the eyebrow arch and then also on the inner corner for an inner corner highlight. And then for my lower lash line, I used um, Sophia, um, just brush that under the lash line and then closer to the lash line I took another a matte shade in the palette. Um, it is called Coconut Grove. So I pushed that right on the lash line to give it more of an eyeliner look and that is how we achieved the look. Did some tight lining with my Tarte Man Eater eyeliner and Superhero Mascara and here we are guys. And I must say that I like this look. Gosh, you can see the difference in the gold and then the silver and then the dark brown liner. It's not a liner, but you know, the dark brown metallic shadow. Um, and when I did my transition area on this eye, I did not experience a harsh line. So I'm thinking that had something to do with um, the me blending out the concealer on my eyelid. So I don't attribute that line that I saw in the first, you know, when I was going through the tutorial with you guys, I don't attribute that to the shadow. So I did want to clarify that. This shadow is very nice. It blended out very nicely. The color arrangement in this palette is just beautiful. Um, open it. Okay. So we've got a beautiful, huge mirror the basically the entire size of the palette and then all the shades here so they give you all your um your basic matte shades that you would probably use more of like for transition shades and in your crease that type of a thing in the larger pans and then you have the smaller pans with two mattes and then six metallic shimmer shades so um yeah, I don't think I have anything that's comparable to this. Um, I feel like I can pick shades perhaps out of different palettes and, you know, get similar, you know, color payoffs or color shades from different palettes, but not all in one. I think the closest you might get to this um, was the Sultry palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay, so here's that and then here's this. So I think the closest you might get would be this palette because you've got your taupe here. That's like a taupey shade and then you've got a taupe in this palette. In the sultry palette you've got your dark brown um, and then in some of the shimmers like the gold and the more like silvery type of a shade you can get that with the sultry palette as well. But the performance is very different. Um, very different. So these the ABH shadows, they're mattes. Her mattes are a little bit more powdery, a little bit, um, you get a lot more kick up in the pan than what I saw with this palette. The metallics in the Sultry palette are a lot creamier. Um, you have to, you don't have to go back and forth with your finger with the Sultry palette with her metallic shades um, because they are so creamy. These are a little bit more of a dry formula, so, um, and also the payoff is not as high shine with these metallics as with the sultry. So I did want to let you guys know that, but 
reviewing this on its own these they the shadows perform beautifully you see they picked up very nicely with a brush with my finger and they laid down nicely as well so of course with metallics you're oftentimes going to get a better payoff when you apply them with your finger um so that's why i did go in but if you're wanting a more subtle like highlight or shimmer shade go in with a brush if you want a more intense payoff then go in with your finger um the shades blended out very nicely the mattes blended out very nicely the metallics laid down nicely and that pigmentation in this shade here this is the shade that i used for the um more of like the smoked out liner effect um that shade there very pigmented extremely pigmented with a brush i did not have to go in with my finger even though i really probably couldn't in that area because my finger ain't that small but <laughs> but yeah yeah guys I'm very happy with this palette and it will be going into uh, my haul next month you know the haul my stash for February I think this is going to be in the in that in that little hole thing the layout of the colors is very beautiful I think the way they laid these out you can get a look with each row so you've got um this row here you can get a look with that row a look with that row you know just going if you're somebody who doesn't want to use a lot of shades i think i used six shades out of this palette for this eye look but if you're just wanting to do something simple just pick a row and make a look out of that because <laughs> they just seem to be very nicely uh coordinated by row the packaging is very quality rose gold nars nice soft matte palette and very travel friendly so that is a plus here with this palette and i like it okay it's neutral everyday palette extremely everyday friendly um yeah so you're looking for an everyday palette this is a good one and i will insert swatches right here Hallelujah. And I think this is $56. I got it from Ulta. So, yeah, of course, I will correct that because sometimes I'll be thinking about different things <laughs> when I say the amount, the numbers. So, I will put that on the screen. But I give this palette two thumbs up. Definitely let me know you guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Um, of course, this is just my first impressions, but I'm very impressed with the palette for my first impressions, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah let me know your thoughts below and i will be talking to you guys very soon don't forget to like this video if you did in fact like it and subscribe if you want to see more content from me and welcome to all the people that have been subscribing to my channel welcome okay welcome <laughs> all right i'll talk to you guys really soon see ya